I've decided that I want to run this order summary query every time that I run this order by city query. I've also decided that I want to use the same start date and end date in both queries so that I know I'm always looking at the same date range when I look at the queries together. So I could just copy the criterion from this query here and paste it into this query here. But if I do that, then both queries are going to prompt me for values, and it's possible that I might accidentally specify two different date ranges and get two different sets of data. That's not what I want. So to avoid this, I'm going to create a form and use that form to take my parameter input values. Then I'm going to point the queries to that form for the input. That way, I only put value input values once into the form, and I know that the queries will have the same date range. So the first thing I need to do is create a blank form. And it's too big. I'm going to make it smaller, much smaller. And next I'm going to add some controls to take the input. So I'll use text boxes. And I'm going to change some of the prop properties on these text boxes to make this easier to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the format to general date. So this means that this control will expect a date value, and it also will offer a little calendar picker. I'm also going to change the name of the control to start date, so that it'll be easier to refer to it from inside the query. And then I'm going to change the label, so that it will be apparent what sort of input what I'm looking for. Then I'm going to create one for end date, and do the same things. There. All right, so now I'm going to save the form. I'll call it date range. There. Now I can refer to the form from inside the queries. So I'll just adjust my criterion here. And I can just add the, oops, do it right. I can just add the forms collection and then pick my date range form from that collection and it's already got start date in there. And I'm going to do the same here for, well, I could just actually copy and paste that. There. Okay, so I've got my criteria row fixed for this one. Let's copy that and paste it into the criteria row for this query. There, now both queries are referring to the controls on the date range form for their input. So let's go ahead and put some values there on the date range form. Okay, so now when we run the queries, we should see the date range, the same date range for both. Wait, why is it still prompting me for a parameter? Oh, that's right, I already set this query up with parameters, and I also specified the data type. Even though the parameters aren't in the criteria row anymore, they're still here in the query, saved in the query parameters dialog box, and I need to clear those out so that the query won't be expecting parameters anymore. Okay, now everything should work. Great, that one ran, that one ran, and they both used the date range to get their values. There you have it. Thanks for watching.